Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play 60 Seconds. My name is Weasel, and in this episode, we're going to do the Boy Scout Challenge, which was suggested by Jaco Davi. Uh, we're going to do that on the hard difficulty, and I'm going to explain the challenge that many of you wanted to see um, as best as I can while I go scavenge for the items. So we're allowed to bring the axe, the flashlight, two food, two water, a radio, a first aid kit, and of course, the Boy Scout book, hence the name. And uh, this is pretty much... Ted and Timmy versus the world, and I have to do everything for little Timmy. Little Timmy is the most important part on this. Of course, Ted has to survive too, but uh, I, everything I do has to be for Timmy's benefit, meaning I have to heal him and make sure he stays safe. All right, just looking for all the items. I'm allowed to bring the med kit in the radio. Wonderful. Wunderbar. Uh, where is little Timmy? Didn't I... Was it? Ah, uh, oh, there you are. Hey, Timmy. Okay, I'm allowed to bring him two bottles of water and two cans of food. So I'm gonna have to quickly grab the food. I hope I'm getting all the items. Uh, I actually <laughs> did it two times already and I forgot uh, always one item. So I want to make sure I got everything. The flashlight. I do not remember grabbing that. So I'm just gonna have to do a quick lookout through everything. Through all the rooms. Sorry. Sorry, wife and daughter. Ah. I can't, I can't do anything. I can't help you. It's the challenge. Oh, yeah, right. The fire axe. I'm allowed to bring that one. Why would I not bring the fire axe, weasel? That weasel. I think I got them all this time. That would be great. That would be great. Yeah, but even if Pancake comes around, we have to make sure that Timmy is doing well first. And if Timmy runs away, or Ted dies, of course, I lose. So let's see if we got all the items that I was allowed. I was allowed the axe. Yes. The flashlight. Yes. Two food. Two water, check. A radio, check. The first aid kit, yep. And of course the Boy Scout book and Timmy. Exploring radioactive wasteland without any protection, such as a gas mask, is a bad idea. Good to know, thank you Scout Handbook. I will not do that then. Let's see. Timmy is safe and that is what matters. Ha! Exactly, because this is the Boy Scout Challenge. We barely got there time ourselves. We have no idea what happened to Mary Jane and Dolores. Probably died in, you know, the nuclear explosion that just occurred. Just, just a guess, just a guess. We don't have that much food, no one's complaining yet, but even canned suit might become an extravagant dish. <sighs> extravagant dish quite soon. There you go, Weasel, you can say words. It's not that hard. Believe it or not, I can say words sometimes when I, when I really try hard. All right, it's time to ration the supplies. I will gladly do that by not giving anyone anything. <laughs> yeah, we have to make sure that uh, Timmy stays fine. Shouldn't be too hard to keep a little kid safe, am I right? Parents? Huh? Huh? I have no idea. Alright, living in the past is not wise in our current situation. We need to think of today and tomorrow and the, all the upcoming days. Of course, we're not going to send out Timmy. That would be foolish. And we were about to knock on the door when we heard, <laughs> to sleep when we heard someone knocking at the door. Who could it be at this hour? Who could it be in this part of the wasteland? Probably a prankster, so I'll just go ahead and open it. Foolish as I am. Oh, wait. Well, <laughs> smart, someone started shooting at us. We closed that as quickly as we could, but a shot or two grazed us. Uh, Ted should drink something and Ted was hurt. Well, well, um, I mean, Ted is injured, so I guess I'm going to have to deal with that. That is a shame, crying shame. Good, good start to the challenge. Shouldn't have gone outside on day two. They just started shooting at us. <laughs> that never happened. But I'm always glad to see that there are other variations that can happen with an event. Um, yeah, they started shooting at us. That is, that makes sense actually. I'm not surprised at all. Do we have to take care of yourself, ourselves, or will someone come to the rescue? Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water now, which is pretty much tomorrow. So, and that's a, that's a great start to uh, this episode. Um, let's just hope I can pull this off. What is that? It seems like a distant rumble, but it's getting louder. And why is everything shaking? Oh god, it's a quake. Grab something and hold on. Well, I guess I'm going to go with the radio. I think that makes the most sense in my situation. Uh, granted, this is not a good situation. And uh, throwing that earthquake on me game is just insult to injury. Honestly, I mean, I'm already injured. I don't have that much food or many great items. 
Ah well, earthquake or not, nothing is going to stand between us and our daily dose of radio static. We are able to grab it before it could fall down and get smashed. Something else might be broken, but we won't know until we clean this place up. Timmy's in terrible shape, we need to give him water now. No worries, Timmy. We got you covered. We got you covered. All right. Timmy seems to be in a good shape for a trip. You know what? I could send Timmy out. I mean... But then he might be sick. And I don't want to risk it. I don't have a med kit anymore. Because I kind of decided to go out when someone was knocking at the door. Hear that? No, because no one is talking. Not a word in ours. Not at all. We can't just stare at this for the walls. We need to do something about this. Yes! Listen to the radio. And see if someone has an important message for you. I doubt it. Look at that little robot gentleman there. Where did they get... Where did you get the cranes for that, Timmy? How fortunate we took the radio with us. We can probably listen to some music. Well, nothing new is going on. Which is a good thing by itself. So how are we going to do this, Timmy? The... 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 The, the, the torch is broken. Can we repair it with the Boy Scout book? Maybe. Maybe. Both are hungry. That's not a problem. We at least got enough food to last a while, so we'll see. What was that? Rat? No, uh, it's probably not. Let's chop it up. The two-tailed mo two monster. Uh, yeah, that went well. No, nothing to worry about. I always hope for some extra food when that happens. How about getting Timmy something to drink? No, no, no. I know. I know. Timmy, Timmy has to suffer. Nobody said anything that I'm not allowed to let Timmy suffer a little bit. It's been a while since we showered. The smell of this tiny shelter is far from roses as it can get. We had thought of washing ourselves. Too bad we didn't grab a soap along the way. Ugh. Let's hope we don't get sick. Then again, it's the top. Yep, we got sick. Fantastic. Fan friggin tastic. <laughs> oh, we got sick by being so filthy. That is great. Jimmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Ted looks like he got one foot in the grave. He needs a drink right now. Ted got sick. Ah, oh, that's that's just great. It's just fantastic. We try to keep track of dates, but they just don't add up. Luckily, Timmy remembered it's his birthday today. And you're going to die, Timmy. But hey, here's here's the Boy Scout book as a gift. Enjoy. Enjoy the few days you have remaining. I am not too... Unless for some magical reason we get a med kit. I am not seeing this. Oh man. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Yes, I agree. We do. Oh man. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we have to leave eventually. <sighs> it would be a good idea to head straight for safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble if that's even possible in our situation. I wouldn't say so. You are in a lot of trouble. Anyway, let's listen to the radio. Maybe we can hear the government telling us how they're gonna save us and that's never gonna happen. Oh man, Timmy, please don't run away. Timmy! We made contact. The military's out there and they're coming for us. All we need to do is wait patiently. I don't believe you. Alright, Timmy's still sick, but as long as it's not getting worse. Right. Whoever designed this fallout shelter was a genius, but we really can't tell if that green stuff dripping from the pipe is an included feature. Probably not. Let's fix it. Let's fix that thing. Not that we're already sick and I actually shouldn't care anymore, but let's not make it worse. No news is good news. I agree. There's nothing no going on with Timmy. Okay, let's keep going. Good news, everyone. The government just announced they will be dropping crates filled with supplies in our area. Which is totally useless to me because I do not have a gas mask. If only I had such a magical, rare, unicorn-like item like the gas mask. But no, I was, I was not allowed to bring it. I would have totally brought it. I would have totally brought it. It was too dangerous to go out there without any protection, so we decided to stay indoors and listen to the radio. The static is so relaxing. Timmy should eat something. Well, Timmy, here you go. Here's some food. Ted also wants something. We decided to peek out for just a minute to see if the store around the corner was still standing. When we're all about to step out, we heard a growl in the darkness. It's Pancake, and we're gonna scream at him at the top of our lungs because we do not have a flashlight anymore. So it's just going to... He's just going to run away. Yerp. Yep, it worked. <sighs> well, I mean, maybe we make day 20 or so. That would be nice. We're surprised our generator is still running. We're at least getting some light in here, but going out with a flashlight is suicidal. We should try fixing it. Oh, yeah. Let's repair the flashlight. Great idea. No, we broke it. Fantastic. Man, I am the luckiest. We only ended up breaking it more. Apparently, you can do that to a flashlight. We can always buy a new one. Oh, wait, we can't. Damn. I agree. 
I agree. It's time for water. And I can send out... Can I send Timmy out? I can send Timmy, but he is sick. Okay, since this is our only chance, I have to send Timmy out. I hate doing that. Because we have to keep him safe, but... In my current situation, I'm not gonna get a medkit, and I have to heal... Timmy. Then again, I also have to heal Ted. You know what, we're, go we're going to prepare for an expedition. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe we get lucky. Or, actually, we could get the, the event where... Uh, hmm. I don't know. I, I do not know. But they say at least the fallout outside has mostly gone. The radio said it. So, I'm gonna send Timmy. Let's hope he comes back. Let's really hope for it. Otherwise, this challenge is lost. I would have assumed that the game was a little bit more forgiving, considering that I didn't have too many items. Ted is still sick. I know, Ted. We were able to catch the military broadcast again. This time they're asking us to get out with a... with a torch and signal their plane. Well, we broke it. Nothing we can signal with. Worst. I'm just saying the worst. Why wouldn't they just do it during the day and we could do some other kind of signal? Ah, well. All Ted wishes for are a few drops of water. Well, Ted, your your wish is my command in roughly two days. And only if Timmy comes back, because if Timmy doesn't come back, this is... What? what it's not worth living anymore. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Yeah, have some food. The wasteland is full of surprises like this man on the other side offering us food. Timmy's back! Yay! And he doesn't look as sick as before. He just looks a little sick. But he's hungry. Alright, one of our neighbors had a boat of his own. The old timer wasn't happy to let anyone use it and just kept it in his yard. It is still there, but the neighbor isn't. We finally got a chance to get a look inside. <laughs> Into his sea he kinky sex cave. We found a few soup cans in the yacht's cargo hold. It seems rich people like soup too. Soup is great. We love soup. Soup. And since the ocean's pretty salty, keeping a supply of drinkable water was a pretty reasonable pre precaution to take. Okay, at least we're not gonna starve or die from dehydration. So I'll take that as a somewhat of a win. But no, can't send anyone. And Timmy got back to his shelter from his expedition and looked fine, but it turned out he had hurt his hand on a piece of rusty metal. And the wound was infected. Maybe we can get the sickness from him. We can lift that from him and... Make him feel a little bit better. Yes, Timmy is healed. He's just hungry and tired. Ted is still sick. Ah, oh, that would be a bad thing. Timmy should eat something. And he was cured. Oh, here's some food. Maybe we can cure Ted somehow. I, that would be fantastic. Spiders seem to be operating on the assumption that they have all the same rights to the shelter as we do. No, let's smash them. Let's smash the sh spiders with a Boy Scout book. I think we could find some food with that event or water. Hmm, not sure. Yes, we always knew books were precious, and this one gave us a bottle of water. We found one. Ha <laughs> ha! Misplaced. Timmy's very hungry. There's nothing going on with Ted. Nothing new, anyway. Timmy, why are you so hungry? Why? Ah, <sighs> it's hard to keep track of time down here. We can't tell if it's night or day. Our sleeping patterns are messed up. These terrible light bulbs are not helping. Well, at least Timmy is. Ah, well. Ah, well. And Ted, T Timmy went crazy. <sighs> well, that's another thing. If Ted dies, that's also over. Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get at least an hour or two of sleep and then we died. No, Ted has been sick for far too long and he was too weak to keep going. He passed away in his sleep. Surviving the apocalypse is not an easy task. We can tell you that much. We survived for 23 days. Ah, well. I mean, Timmy at least survived. He's crazy now and is pro probably going to be some... Famous wasteland person, you know, growing up crazy with his dad, dad, and... I'm just going to assume this is like weeks afterwards, because that's, you know, Ted doesn't have any flesh on his body left, so Timmy ate it, and that's why he went crazy, but also he's going to be strong, and then be a crazy, crazy strong person. And anyway, <laughs> if you guys want to see a certain kind of challenge, leave your ideas below. If you see a challenge idea that you like and you would love to see, upvote it. And then I'm going to see that and uh, very likely going to do it. In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this short challenge. That was a tricky one. Shouldn't have opened the door, but 
you know, you live, you learn. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye. <laughs>